Hey everyone, welcome to Encore, and today my nephew Josh over here is joining me and we're going to show you how you can do makeup for teen guys for prom dances, winter dances, holiday dances, whatever dances you're going to. And uh, we're going to show you how to achieve a really nice natural look for teen guys, so keep watching. Hey everyone, it's Corin, and you're watching Encore Makeup. Blend, blend, blend. Hi, Noren. Stop using my lipstick. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. So, my nephew, Josh, over here, he's a typical teenager, 17 years old. He's actually graduating uh, next year. So, uh, there's going to be a lot of dances and stuff, and he's also a jock. You know, what kind of sports do you play? Football. Football. That's basketball, you know, typical teenager, and of course along with that is the typ typical teenager, you know, skin issues and stuff with a little bit of breakouts and stuff, you know, just like we all went through that. I went through that. So we're going to show you today how you can just do minimal makeup. It's not just for girls for proms or dances or anything. Guys can do this too. And we're going to show you the most natural way of achieving natural looking skin and hiding all of, you know the imperfections and flaws and we just minimal makeup so let's begin so the first thing you're going to do is always start with a clean face and Josh just washed his face with his favorite facial cleanser and stuff and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the skin is moisturized and for this we're just going to use the Neutrogena for men and this is the face lotion and we're just going to apply this right on um, all over his skin actually and I recommend once again to do this at least 20 minutes prior to concealing, applying your makeup and whatnot just to make sure that the skin will naturally absorb the product and uh, so therefore the skin is going to benefit from the, uh, from the moisturizer itself. Okay, so once the skin absorbs the moisturizer 15 to 20 minutes later, we're going to start concealing. And for concealer, I like using Smashbox High Definition Concealer on guys because it gives out the most natural looking finish. So it doesn't bounce off the cameras because when you're going to dances and stuff, most likely you're going to get photographs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to concentrate on the problem areas and in Josh's case he's got a little bit of breakout in the forehead and a little bit of breakout in the cheek area which is very very typical of teenage breakouts. And the key to concealing problem areas is to make sure to just spot conceal. Do not conceal the whole area, just where it's needed. So that way the face later on doesn't look too made up and doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. Okay, so once you finish spot concealing, because we used a liquid or cream based concealer, we're going to need to set it. And for that, I'm just going to use Smashbox High Definition Powder. All right, and we're going to press that in right into the concealed area with a super dense brush. Okay, make sure to just press that in initially. So that way the uh, liquid product is going to absorb the powder and therefore it's going to cause it to set. Okay, next, once the uh, concealer sets, we're going to just gently brush off the excess powder. And then we're going to apply a little bit of foundation. And for that, I highly recommend Mineral Skin Finish Natural because it's very, very matte. It's very natural on the skin. Now, the best way to apply this, especially on guys, is using a buffer brush much like this and a refresher spray and you just basically just wet the tip of the brush all right and then swirl right into the product okay and then just basically stipple that right into the skin and then give it a swirl All 
Alright, repeat the process until you fully cover the skin. Once again, stipple first. And then swirl. And as you can see, the natural finish on this doesn't uh, give a glow or a shimmer. That's going to give away the factor that um, you're wearing makeup. So it's really, really, really ideal for guys. And especially for teenagers. Teenage guys. Because, of course, you know, you don't want to really give away that you're wearing makeup products. So if you want to make it look as uh, natural as possible, make sure to always use products that are very, very matte and there are no effects in it like shimmers, glitters, or uh, shine and glow to make it as natural as po possible. Okay, next, using a setting spray, we're going to spritz just to make sure that the powder sets and to even and smooth this out and make it uh, more natural further. We're going to use a very, very kind of damp sponge, not exactly wet that it's dripping, but just really, really wet. And what you want to do is just basically press that right into the skin, all right? And that's going to cause the microspheres of the powders to disperse further. And therefore, it's going to leave the skin natural looking. So just roll it. And then if there are certain areas that you think needs a little blending, like perhaps the crevices on the side of the nose, then you can just very, very light-handedly just do a little bit of blending, okay? And then once again, press that right into the skin. And that's it. You're pretty much done. Beautiful, natural-looking skin. It doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. All the uh, acne problems covered and concealed without giving it away that you're wearing makeup. And uh, Josh is going to be ready to uh, get dressed and go to the dance. Okay, so thank you so much for joining us and hopefully uh, this helps you guys. Uh, so guys, it's okay to wear a little makeup. Just make sure it doesn't look too obvious that you're wearing makeup. So uh, it's great if you're getting senior portraits done. I'm pretty sure you guys already did that. Uh, but winter dance, holiday dance, prom, your senior prom, junior prom, it's okay to wear a little bit, alright? Just make sure that it's not obvious looking and you can achieve natural looking makeup, especially for guys, that you can uh, cover a little bit of uh, imperfections. And in uh, Josh's case, you know, it's definitely softer, the acne problem's uh, gone, and uh, it's going to look great on pictures. And what do you think? It looks good. Looks good, right? Yeah. yeah, it looks natural. Does it feel cakey or anything? Does it feel like you're wearing something? No. Pretty, pretty smooth, right? Yeah. Very natural feeling. And you yeah. can touch it too. Really yeah? Does. Good. Alright, so thanks for joining us and until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys!